ये ऐसा माहौल है जहाँ हमारे राजदूतावास वहाँ हमारे उच्चायुक्त खुद हमारे कॉन्सुलेट्स जो हैं वहाँ वो एक किस्म से उन पे ये दबाव है आ, उनके खिलाफ जो है हिंसा का प्रचार कर, कर पर हो रहा है धर्म और बाकी चीजें दोनों को किसी भी तरीके से जोड़ना गलत है धर्म की एक अपनी आस्था है सिख की अपनी एक परिभाषा है और सिखिज्म को इंटायर सिखिज्म को किसी को अधिकार नहीं है कि इस तरह से पूरी दुनिया में हमें बदनाम किया जाए हम वो कम्युनिटी नहीं है जो मार धाड़ जिस तरह की हमारी छवि बनाने की कोशिश की जा रही है हम वो लोग नहीं हैं नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम टू द सुपर सैटरडे डिबेट I am Anand Narsimhan. The Indian High Commission in London has issued a statement regarding the incident where K Goon stopped the Indian High Commissioner in the United Kingdom from visiting a gurdwara in Glasgow city. In a press release, the High Commission stated that three individuals were involved in this disruption and all of them were from outside Scotland, non-local extremists. That's what they were called. It, it also added that organizers were threatened and abused by these individuals. A significant uh, incident was also averted due to the quick reaction of the organizers who physically intervened at the car door that's what the statement added so according to the visuals the gentleman in the gray suit with the orange patka is one of the organizers who actually stopped the other extremist who was trying to intimidate the high commissioner and indicated to the high commissioner and the car to actually make their way out just to ensure the security of the high commissioner so the high commissioner in london on the has said three persons deliberately disrupted the interaction one filming you could see a tall person and also a lady there who are part of this entire group there are three gentle three three people in the video the person in the gray dress is somebody from the organizer who the statement actually says helped and ensured the security of the indian high commissioner the diplomat left shortly to prevent physical altercation and also further escalating or embarrassing uh, and for the safety of everybody else the organizers quick reaction prevented bigger incident organizers threatened and abused by elements reported the incident to the police and the uk officials and there's been an official response from the uk government too who have condemned this entire incident now we get you the inside track our group editor security manoj gupta getting us the inside scoop on the kegoons attack in glasgow on the indian high commissioner according to intel sources the major region is related to jaktar johal who was arrested in punjab jaktar johal has 10 cases registered against him in india under the arms act and unlawful activities prevention act british national jaktar johal has been lodged in tihar jail since 2017 on charges of murder and attempted murder two is the two individuals who confronted the indian high commissioner were from johal's gang a third person was not involved and came only to inform the high commissioner that people were going to protest and it would be better to leave the area now this is the inside track on this entire glasgow scoop that the two people who came there to intimidate were from jaktar johal the sikh community indian high commissioner respected among the sikh community sikh community in uk had organized the event they organized many events and they only invited him two reasons dominated the protest in glasgow one the incidents in canada the indo canada tension fueled protests and of course the release of jaktar johal the sikh group demand release jaktar johal who's behind bars since 2017 two attackers were from jaggi johal's gang that's what we are given to understand he's been lodged in tihar jail since 2017 and uh, this is the reason why these people tried to intimidate the indian high commissioner let's go cross to guess jaktar johal who is he let's quickly understand this he's a 36 year old british citizen these are all british nationals they're not indian citizens who are doing all of this and they're all gangsters goons with criminal antecedents arrested in punjab in 2017 10 cases registered under the arms act and also the uh, unlawful activities prevention act lodged in tihar jail since 2017 so these are his antecedents as far as johal is concerned let's go across to our guests and try and understand this entire k bogey bunch of goons gangsters and more importantly not indian citizens sardar rp singh is with us we have uh, kuldeep uh, 
Singh Shekhawat, Director MATV, joining us from London. But first, I'd like to go across to Ramnik Maan, who's also joining us this evening, activist joining us. Namaste and Jai Hind to all the gentlemen. Thank you very, very much for your time. I know it's the weekend, but you've taken this because this is important and this deserves a certain amount of attention in your comments. So your comments will dominate proceedings. Criminal again, gangsters again, Ramnik Maan. Be it Canada yeah, or the UK, can, they are all no, anti-social elements. Go ahead, please. Namaste, Sashikal, Jai Hind, uh, Anand. You see, I have been reiterating this over and over several times that the West has always encouraged the secessionist elements from across the world. And they have gone a step too far this time. They have actually given them leverage. They have given them citizenship. They have all sorts of criminals from India, whether they are gangsters, murderers, loots, dacats. Anybody who's a wanted criminal in India has been given asylum and citizenship. And they have been mentioned or referred to as honorable citizens of the West. So I personally feel, you know, that uh, people inciting violence, people seeking for killings and deaths cannot attribute themselves or the Western countries cannot attribute themselves, hmm. you know, and take the cover of uh, freedom of speech and expression. Freedom of speech and expression in the West cannot be different from the global definition. What I personally see is that the West, including the UK, the US, Canada, and the other P other countries which associate themselves as West. India is a non-West country. We're not anti-West country in the words of the foreign minister. But that needs to be understood on ground. That needs to be displayed in policy by these Western countries. Our criminals, our wanted or designated terrorists, they cannot be considered as honorable citizens of the other country. And India has given evidence after evidence, dossier after dossier, NSA level to NSA level, enough number of uh, <clears throat> hmm. enough number of uh, evidence has been exchanged with the West. But they need to now, uh, you know, send these uh, criminals back. They need to stop this policy of encouraging the terrorists, they encouraging the secessionists, encouraging the people who ask or call for the killings or murders of Indian diplomats who harass the Indian diplomats, who attack our missions abroad in their country. Law and order, if they cannot manage, they cannot handle, they should come out clear and tell that the West is not no, now not competent to give Indian diplomats the kind of, uh, the kind of protection that they deserve in their country. Then we will see what we need to do. Also, an important aspect, Anand, which needs to be discussed is hmm. that the NIA should now get access to these countries and investigation, investigate leads, whatever you know they have in the sense when when they said they have credible credible uh, allegations. Now we need to step up our game. We need to go into those countries, and our NIA should investigate into how these people have managed to become from designated terrorists, murderers, goons, wanted criminals to honorable citizens of those countries. Is it a part of the state policy of those countries or is it their political compulsion? Whatever the case be, it should come out open and upfront. Very, uh, very well said, Ramnik Maan. In fact, Jaggi Johal should be said, ki, dekho, ka na, you must go. We will now never let you go. And somewhere, jitni baar Jaggi Johal or aise gangsters ke gur gurge wahan kuch bhi gadbad karein, utni baar unko yahan par usko uska ahsas hona chahiye. Somewhere, that's a sentiment. Somebody just sent me the message. Johal to hamare paas hai, usko hi jara message dete hain. But the other question, other question, Ramnik Maan is, these people are not intimidating the Pakistani High Commissioner. They are not telling Pakistanis to give up Nankana Saab, Kartarpur Saab. They are not giving a, and, and what the way they are treating Raja Ranjit Singh Ji's uh, palace and, and so many other uh, you know, aspects of Sikh, Sikhi, which are all on the other side of Punjab right now in the West. Well, Anand, the, the, the circumstantial evidences are very clear. Like one, you said that they are not targeting the Pakistani High Commissioner. Why do you forget that these people who try to harass our diplomats who attack our embassies and our missions abroad are often seen mingling and socializing with the Pakistani diplomats in those countries, in those host countries. It is their responsibility. Another, another evidence is that when they talk about secession, is when they talk about breaking India or when they talk about balkanizing India, they do, do not talk about the Punjab which is left in Pakistan today, the West Punjab. They don't even talk about it. The seat of Maharaja Ranjit Singh, the capital of Punjab, 
was lahore hmm. they don't even talk lahore they talk about himachal pradesh they talk about current day uh, rajasthan they so much so in fact talk about certain parts of uttarakhand today they talk about dehradun dharamsala but they don't talk about lahore they don't talk about nankana sahab they don't talk about kartarpur sahab they don't talk about punjab sahab they don't talk about any part where the sikh history are remained in pakistan if i may take you anan hmm. very briefly anan hmm. in our in our prayers in our ardas you know every day across the world six pray to uh, wahe guru saying that jina gurdwara guru dhamma to pant nu vichhodya gaya ohna di seva sambhal te darshan didar da daan khalsa ji nu bakhsho so we every day seek and we pray how are these khalistanis calling themselves true six when they don't even seek to get those areas back jiske liye sari qaum roz haath jod ke ardas karti hai us area ko to ye bolte hi nahi hai so this is a circumstantial evidence which is very clearly pointing the finger towards the pakistani isi towards the pakistani deep state and establishment and the links of these western countries who are encouraging indian designated terrorists inam yafta mujrims indian hmm. criminals gangsters you know the people who are involved in drug trade illegal hmm. weapon trade, people who are involved in illegal money laundering or hawala scams these people are being referred to as honorable citizens anand what more evidence you want inko sabse pehle citizenship mil kaise gayi sardar rp singh that's another thing the other thing is jo ye mang rahe hain inko ek chhota sa block wahi khareed le usko jo naam dena hai de de but they cannot they cannot defame sikhi anymore there has to be a clear position that has to be taken sir there is nothing as far as uh, with related anand, to closest to sikhism when they use this how can they do this well the western world has to understand one more thing i mean this guy johol is accused in murder of two uh, hindus uh, jagdish kineja ji one of the brigadier retired brigadier and ravinder gosai but he is also accused in one of the pastors killing uh, a christian pastor was killed by his gang and he is accused in that so uh, i don't understand how can they support such a person who is uh, involved in a pastor killing but let's understand uh, and, and sorry coming to your point also Uh, canada has a lot of land spare land canada has very less population uh, as good as delhi and then they have huge piece of land they can make khalistan in brampton or any ottawa or any other place uh, they can think of and uh, they can uh, put their flag and everything there whatever they want to but for your uh, memory i mean the first man who started the khalistan movement was jagjit singh chauhan he launched his uh, uh, khalistan uh, currency khalistan flag and he probably got khalistan also government in exile recognized by uh, venezuela or ecuador i if i don't know ecuador and later on when he uh, at his last stage he came to india uh, in 2000 he came to india he accepted the india's uh, uh, concept and said i i go by uh, india and i i am against khalistan he said ram rajya and khalistan are same that is his statement recorded statement when he was here and he met lot of readers he said i am not against uh, any any country i am not against uh, any religion and he also said that bogi of khalistan is on record uh, recorded statement that bogi of khalistan is being created by pakistan and supported by the western countries for reason to use that as a leverage against india i mean this man is saying this in uh, year 2000 and uh, later on he made his own party here khalsa raj party if i rightly remember he contested hmm. one election also after coming back to india and he uh, lost that election although he lost that election but this is the the background of the khalistan is also but jagjit singh chauhan is supposed to be the, the person who initiated the khalistan movement abroad and then built up the complete concept of khalistan but let's understand what's happening today is is all uh, because there is isi which want to disturb india there is west which want to use this as a leverage uh against rising india and also earlier it was being used to support pakistan now is being used to uh, uh, to ensure that they can use this against the rising india and also there is a gangster you remember 80s these all these gangster hmm. from uh, mumbai used to go to dubai and settle there now the in, the punjab gangsters have gone and settled in Punj- uh, in uh, uh, canada and in hmm. england uh, uh, not much in america but in these two countries much more in canada and and they are operating as a, a complete uh, gang now with the where gangsters uh, isi khalistanis 
and they are using the students who take asylum they take money from the students here uh, the uh, money to uh, get them letters uh, credential mm. letters for to shift to canada uh, one of our member parliament uh, simranjit singh man is on record yes that i issued them letter for 35000 rupees each uh, I, no, so what has been done against the, uh, नहीं वॉट इज वॉट वॉट हैज बिन डन अगेंस्ट हिम ये सारे गैंगस्टर इंडिया से कनाडा जा रहे हैं कनाडा से इंडिया आ रहे हैं इनको हम कुछ कर रहे हैं हम भी तो हम भी तो वीजा उनके पासपोर्ट पे ठप्पा लगा रहे हैं ना हम भी तो उनको जाने दे रहे हैं आने देने और ये पार्लियामेंट में कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पर ओथ लेकर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के खिलाफ करने वाले का जो काम कर रहे हैं उनको भी हम कुछ नहीं कर रहे हैं Action has to be. I, I, as I was saying, that I have already requested the speaker, sir, to take action against uh, such a parliamentarian who is on record saying that I, I have been issuing letters to such people who take uh, seek asylum. But let let me complete the circuit first. So these guys go there uh, because they have seek asylum. They have to prove themselves. They they were uh, they were they were be tortured here or uh, they were not given proper status here, and that's why they go and. do whatever kharisan is want them to do and then initially when they are in process of settling um, there are no jobs in canada I, i received a phone call today of even a girl who said sir help me out to the job or i have to come back so th- there are uh, there are no jobs so they are giving they are being given doses by this isi sir i'll tell you what those who have given up indian citizenship up those who have given given up indian citizenship and who have accepted canada as their nation we should not let them come back now they need to sort themselves out there first point secondly these gangsters have also given up indian citizenship they are standing there and abusing india abusing bharat we should not tolerate it Th- third one third third point sir these people deserve no mercy no sympathy no attitude let's stop calling them anything which is k they are criminals they are gangsters they are goons and they are foreign nationals they are not indian citizens anymore that's how we need to look top at them it. till Anand, the time top they, it. till the time no, we no, treat uh, them with let, these kid gloves let, they will continue to use us hum bardash karte hain hum hum badsuluki nahi karte hain to wo kuch bhi karte chale jayenge sir but top of it they are not six also as per me they are not six people who stop i would the, like to see uh, hack mission would to like to see Gudwara. would like to see he, would like to see uh, would like to see would like to see would like to see Would, would like to see the SGPC. Would like to see the Sikhs at large across the diaspora, across the world, across Bharat, come out and reject these outs, uh, uh, these organizations whom Ramnik Man has openly named. Can we take a position? Will we hear? Will we hear? Will we hear those who are learned people among Sikhi, common Sikhs? All of them will be openly oh, oh, openly take a position. Let me just go to Kuldeep Shekhawat ji. It's not just the Indian High Commissioner. People who have spoken against these goons and criminals, even they are being intimidated. Women and children are being threatened. We've got visuals of we've got visuals of uh, pictures coming of locals being threatened, ink being thrown on their cars, their daughters and ch- wives uh, are being uh, insulted, abused, and threatened. Kuldeep Shekhawat ji, is this a free for all in Britain? See, Anand, thank you for uh, having me on the show. Let me put the record bit straight. This incident happened. There are three ramifications and three issues. First, did Gurdwara invited our High Commissioner? Yes, they invited him to come. Who made that decision to go to Gurdwara and on whose request? There is an MSP, hmm. Mrs. Ghosal, Pam Ghosal. Hmm. She invited the High Commissioner to Gurdwara, hmm. and the person who saved High Commissioner is Pam Ghosal's. pa hmm who didn't allow these goons to go to him or didn't allow him to open the car door and hmm. told high commissioner please leave now issue is very simple ji why these people did this my question to these people is how did they knew that high commissioner was coming to the gurdwara and hmm. where was the police we have a high commissioner of india A, a sovereign nation going to a gurdwara and there was no police officer to be seen where was the security there was no security there so these are some of the questions which have come up in this particular incident that british government have to think again british government have to think hard and british government have to think very seriously the way they are treating our diplomats it's not acceptable 
आवर डिप्लोमेट शुड बी गिवन ड्यू सिक्योरिटी जी इंडिया में पूछते हैं कि पुलिस कहाँ थी आप तो ब्रिटेन में पूछ रहे हैं पुलिस कहाँ थी हाँ ब्रिटेन में पूछ रहे हैं साहब क्योंकि थी नहीं पुलिस वहां पर पुलिस वहां पर थी ही नहीं और ये तीन तीन बंदे जो आए ये दीज थ्री पीपल कमिंग टू केम ऑन द प्रोटेक्ट ऑफ बींग हाइकर्स और गुरुद्वारे में इन्होंने लंगर खाया है एंड दे रेन बिहाइंड the people who who went to receive the high commissioner it means they were prepared to come they were they were they knew exactly what was happening and how it was happening so who told these people to come there so these are the questions that needs to be answered by the british authority especially uh, hmm. the british government why there was no security why these three people were there my other question who is sir come? my other question is according to uk law inki kya punishment honi chahiye फ्रेंक रिप्लाई वेरी ऑनेस्ट रिप्लाई कुछ भी पनिशमेंट नहीं होगी यहां पर बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू दैम नथिंग हैपन हाई कमिश्नर इज गॉन दैट्स इट दैट इज द इश्यू इन इन यूके अंडर द ग्रैब ऑफ हैविंग ए डेमोक्रेटिक प्रोटेस्ट दिस कंट्री अलाउज एवरीथिंग एंड एवरीथिंग जस्ट इन टू डेज टाइम दे अगेन दे गोन टू अगेन कम टू द हाई कमीशन ऑन सेकंड ऑफ अक्टूबर ऑन महात्मा गांधी डे दे विल बी अगेन एट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द हाई कमीशन so this is being permitted by the government and this is being allowed and indirectly supported by the government i must say that no that's a very serious charge that you are making then that's yes. a very serious charge yes. that you are making because otherwise But, otherwise these people how they knew that high commissioner was there was no police officer can you believe that he hmm. went to a temple and there was enough police to to look after him hmm. why there was no police officer at this gurdwara alone रमनिक मान जब सीधी उंगली से घिनी निकलता उंगली टेढ़ी करनी पड़ती है तो उसका गुर्गा तो इधर है दिल्ली हमारे जेल में हमारे मेहमान बन के बैठा है तो थोड़ा उधर भी थोड़ा वी शुड सेंड सम मैसेज नो एवरी टाइम यू डू समथिंग हु एवर आर विद अर्स दे विल ऑल्सो फील इट उनका हम ज्यादा सत्कार करेंगे एंड एंड समेयर सम मैसेज हैज टू गो दैट यू डोंट मैस विद भारत यू डोंट मैस विद भारत एंड दीज आर फॉरन नेशनल वी शुड एक्चुअली टेक इट टू द यू एन Take it to the Vienna Convention, saying foreign nationals are pra, pra, uh, plotting the ba balkanization of Bharat. The more we don't take their uh, national identity, the more we help them. American citizen, Canadian citizen, British citizen. This are these are the nations who are plotting against Bharat. That's that should be the story that we should we should actually be telling the world. Ramnik Man, yeah. Sir, Ramnik Man, 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 Ram
ਇੰਡੀਆ ਚ ਆ ਕੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੰਗ ਕੇ ਦਿਖਾਓ ਖਾਲਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇਖੋ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਦਰ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਬਡੀ ਹੂਸ ਗੋਨ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਓਨਲੀ ਅ ਦੁਕਾਨਦਾਰੀ ਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਟੋਕਰੀ ਚ ਬਿਛਾਈ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਖਾਲਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਦੀ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਕਲੈਕਟਿੰਗ ਮਨੀ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਯੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਡਰਗ ਮਨੀ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਯੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਬਲੱਡ ਮਨੀ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਯੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਗੈਂਗਸਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਮਹਾਵਾਲਾ ਮਨੀ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਯੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਇਲੀਗਲ ਵੈਪਨ ਮਨੀ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਵਾਟ ਟੂ ਕਿਲ ਸਿਕਸ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ to kill innocent indians the, the, in india the, the biggest this thing, is what you doing the biggest thing is sir they are not citizens and of one minute anand Ji. there was a brief point allow me 30 more seconds anand i have to wind up sgpc when you in, so so no so, 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 please hear me out when you invoke sgpc let me reiterate and let me put this on record very clearly sgpc has been a part of the problem you go when you when you try and glorify terrorists murderers you are a part of the problem hmm. and you have to look within yourself before you accuse others you Jay. are a part of the problem Adam. point point well made i thank you gentlemen it's the weekend uh, discourse so that's why it's a shorter one but i am going to exact the promise that we need to have a longer conversation through the week through the coming week with that it's a wrap of this saturday debate stay with us